Good morning, friends. Let's continue with some more unit test cases. So the previous one, we just covered one unit test case, which was taking a parameterized test in which we were passing the files as a value source. Now, just a little bit modified this just as a unit test. Uh, we will use a method source here. So I will copy this a unit test case and just to save some time and just modify it a bit. Uh, control V. I'll change the name as uh, test loading local text file into Spark UD RDD using method source. So using method source, and then uh, I will change this as method source. So value source is actually used uh, when we can directly uh, specify the literals, like constants here directly, like uh, the whole string here. But using method source, we can actually change it to just use it uh, use a method to provide us all this input uh, argument that we are providing so i will mark the method name as say get file paths okay and i'll create this method very soon and i'll also change the display name name here as using method source so there's no change as such in the unit test case it's the same it's just like the different ways of uh, J unit uh, parameterized test that we can use here, we are de which I'm demonstrating here. So let's uh, create this get file pass now. We just call this get file get file paths, and I will provide the other method signature here. Private static stream argument. Okay. So just call this alt enter. So you have to use this Jupyter one. Okay. So now we have to just return stream of. Uh, let me create some space here. Arguments of. And then here I can pass the path of the file. We can, uh, I can pass both path dot of uh, say source test. This all right. So I will just copy all this. And using Java eleven, we can use path dot of in a very con uh, concise way like this. It's a static factory method. Uh, let me change. Okay. I will mark it. Sorry, I will mark it in the this. Okay. So argument of then we said this we have path of we get a path directly here and we pass this the whole uh, path of file or absolute path of file uh, and then put a comma here and before that uh, because we are going to pass it as a, as a string right so. I will call the two stream method here because we are not not passing the path object but the string object out of it. So we create a path first, and then we call this two string method to create the the whole thing as a string. The same way as we have passed it here. So similarly, I will go for worst list dot uh, txt dot gz file. So for that, I will do control D change this and I will just change the name of this file as given here word list dot text dot gz so I'll mark it here okay so we are now we are providing uh, the stream of I mean we are getting all the, the both of these file paths by just providing this argument of path of this and converting to to, to string so by using this technique right we can uh, if you want to like uh, test for some more files or some more parameters, we can simply duplicate this and add on various files that we want to add and test here. So our method source is now created now, and it's very much similar to what we have done in the very first very source. It's just like we are using in a different way, different way to pass this file paths into this uh, method arg in this unit test argument. Now let's run this, and the results will be exactly same. So let's run this test case. So what it is doing is it is actually uh, reading this um, 
go to the files here and it will uh, do create an rdd out of it count the number of uh, lines in that and then it will print the first 10 lines as we have done in the previous unit test case so it's running right now uh, normally this part it actually takes a little bit of time to initialize because it creates those rdd partitions and all okay so this test case has been run so for the first it was 1000 words or txt file so if i look at this 1000 words or txt the first 10 lines should have been printed so printing first 10 lines if you can see that this is exactly matching with uh this first 10 lines here in the file similarly for the zz file which is a little bit bigger file we are again uh, getting the total lines in the file by the count method that we created by this count and the first 10 lines we call this take method uh, in, in the RDD and we can just pass this 10 and then we printed each of them. So these are the first 10 lines for this GZ file. So let's, uh, so we covered like two cases, very similar test cases is both just that we are using different type of uh, uh, parameterized test ways We're using value source first and then method source in the second one. Now let's write some other unit test case to uh, read the whole directory.